The pickup module is at the lower left here of the edit view, and this models the way the magnetic coil captures the sound of the fork in the electric piano. Now, the position of the pickup in relation to the time bar settings is important in determining the overall tone of the sound. Now, the big control here is the symmetry knob, and this is used to adjust the vertical position of the pickup relative to the time bar. So, I'm going to play you a little part that I have here, and I'll adjust the symmetry, and you'll hear that as I turn it clockwise, it moves the pickup above the time and it has a kind of warmer sound. And as I move it to the left, it's kind of a brighter sound. And this is the control that's available in play view since this is the defining control for the pickup. So that shapes the tone of the pickup greatly. Now we have the distance knob right under it, and this sets the horizontal distance between the pickup and the time bar. So this one, when we turn it clockwise, it increases the distance and it moves the pickup away and the sound becomes more neutral and less affected. And as we dial it counterclockwise, we get a bit more of an overdriven, distorted type of sound. So you can get a really thin, overdriven sound by dialing these both in kind of negative ranges. Now, we also have the different type switches over here. Ours for the electrodynamic pickup versus the electrostatic pickup. And again, they have different qualities to them. Now we have an input and output knob, and the input knob is used to adjust the amount of signal from the fork going into the pickup, and it'll affect the amount of distortion that's applied by this whole pickup module over here. So we can drive the input and then on the output reduce it so that the overall level going out isn't too hot, but we can overdrive and get a different type of distortion by using the input and output and balancing the two. So you can see that there's a great range of tonal characteristics available simply by balancing the input and output controls, of course, factoring in the symmetry and distance too. And there's also a key tracking knob which allows the output of this pickup section to be tailored based on note range. And as we dial the key tracking knob left, it'll influence the lower notes more and dialing it up will influence the higher notes more. I'll demonstrate this for you and I'll kind of set this so we have more of the output going here, but the idea is that it'll influence the notes based on key range, although most of the notes in this part aren't that low, so there'll be minimal effect, but you'll still get an idea. A useful way to think of these controls is that for a cleaner sound, use a smaller amount of the input with a higher amount of output, and then for more of an overdriven sound, the opposite, drive the input hard and ease back on the output. So that's the pickup module. <laughs> 